Well, did you get my beer? <laughs> cute, Bob, real cute. See anything you like? to Rudy's Movie Review, San Antonio's unofficial movie critic. It's been a while, right? It's been too long. Sorry for the lack of videos, guys. Um, as I mentioned, I'm working on my Pee Wee's Big Adventure video, uh, as I promised, but uh, I wanted to talk about this film. Um, it, this film impacted me in a way I wasn't expecting. Uh, I've heard a lot of great things about it, but I hadn't seen it yet. And the film I'm talking about is a ghost story directed by David Lowry and starring Casey Affleck, and Rooney Mara. The film's about a young couple, uh, they just moved into their first home, and shortly thereafter, Casey Affleck, the husband, he dies in a car accident. And he makes an attempt to seek out his uh, wife in the afterlife. And when he returns, he returns in the form of a sheet. The concept alone is, can be dismissed right away. It really can, but this film surprised me. It really did. Uh, and it hit me on an emotional level I wasn't expecting. And again, I saw this film Saturday. I wasn't planning on doing a review for it. And I needed to let this soak in. Here we are, it's Tuesday, and I just needed to just digest it. Think about it. What was uh, the director trying to do here? The more I thought about it, the more I fell in love with it. I mean, when the credits rolled, I was literally there just for three minutes listening to the score, which is very haunting and beautiful, by the way. And I'm just thinking about it. And let me explain why I loved it, starting now. <laughs> this film is almost experimental type of filmmaking. And what the director, David Lowry, does, which I wasn't expecting and completely took me by surprise, is that he uses time and perception like no director I've seen lately, really. The time is from the perspective of the ghost. What they view is from the perspective of the ghost. Time has really no rules in that space and it's presented to us in a unique way that I wasn't expecting. And that's what took me by surprise. For those who haven't seen it, I'm not gonna spoil it, but there's a scene where the young wife after Casey Affleck has died, she's eating a pie. And the scene is quite long. Watching it, Saturday, I'm like, what the hell's going on here? It really frustrated me because I didn't know what was going on. It's a long shot. And after thinking about it for quite some time, I realized that David Lowry, what he's doing is that if we've ever lost somebody in our lives or had a tragic moment, we have those moments to ourselves where there's no family trying to support us, friends, the phone's not there. It's just us alone in that moment trying to comprehend the loss and just sitting there. And that's what he captured. And when I thought about that, it really hit me like, my God, the bravery and, and the, uh, the risk that this film took, I love it. It's, it's, it's amazing. It really is. The film really, after seeing it, had me ask myself a lot of questions. And I'll ask you, have you ever lost somebody? What did it take for you to move on? What were you holding on to? And how did you feel when you finally found it? And that is all I'm going to say. In closing, guys, this film is not for everybody. It's, like I mentioned, almost experimental and requires a lot of patience. Um, I'm a patient guy when it comes to filmmaking. I can sit through a four hour film and as long as there's a good writing and payoff, I'm there. This film to me is something I would highly recommend to those who prefer something different. Again, it's, it's a slow burn, a very slow burn. So if you don't have any patience for film, then don't see this, but if you want to, go into a, something new and experience something different in filmmaking from a perspective that you really never considered. Check this one out, guys. As far as my rating, I'm giving this really 
A hundred out of a hundred. I loved it that much. I really did. It impacted me and it's something that I think I would want to see again and study. And as always guys, thank you for watching Rudy's Movie Review, San Antonio's unofficial movie critic. Please take care. God bless and live long and prosper. I'm out.